cameras are made differently to serve different purposes. There are many photography and videography genres, and they all need specific types of cameras. For example, landscape shooting requires high resolution, incredible details, high-end color reproduction, and so on. But unfortunately, all those features demand a higher price tag. So in this video, we're going to talk about the best cameras for landscape shooting that will not burn a hole into your pocket. So with that being said, let's get started. First, we're going to talk about the Canon EOS 5DSR, a camera with high-end features for landscape shooting that comes just under $1,500. It features a whopping 50.6 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, which lets you capture images with incredible details. Talking about image details, this camera can cancel the effects of a low-pass filter for sharper-looking images. And there is also fine detail mode, maximizing clarity over the landscape edges. Besides, the 5DSR features a 61-point autofocus for fast and accurate focusing of your subject. The autofocus system also includes 41 cross type and 5 double cross type autofocus for a more efficient autofocus experience. As for the video, this camera can shoot full HD videos at 30 frames per second. Apart from that, there's a 3.2 inch 1.04 million dot touchscreen, which allows for reviewing settings and images. The viewfinder also provides 100% coverage and shows necessary settings like shooting mode, exposure level, and so on. So if picture quality is your absolute requirement, then Canon EOS 5DSR has everything to make your landscape shot stand out. Next, we'll talk about the Sony A7R2, a high-end camera for landscape shooting that offers powerful features for both stills and videos. Featuring a 42.4 megapixel backside illuminated full-frame CMOS sensor, this camera lets you shoot superb landscape images with stunning details. Its BSI construction also allows for sharp and almost noise-free images even in low-light situations and higher ISOs. It also lets you shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second. For a smooth handheld shooting experience, the A7R2 comes with 5-axis image stabilization, eliminating shakes for 4.5 stops. As for autofocus, this camera comes with 399 phase detection points and 25 contrast detection areas for quick and precise autofocus. Apart from that, the eye detect autofocus makes sure that your subject always remains in focus. Overall, the Sony A7R2 is an all-rounder camera for landscape lovers and packs impressive features for stills and videos in challenging lighting situations. Next, let's look at a masterpiece from Nikon for landscape lovers, the Nikon D810. Equipped with 36.3 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, this camera lets you shoot impressive landscape photos with adequately well details. Moreover, there is no optical low-pass filter, so that you can shoot sharper images. However, you might find more and aliasing effects in your images in certain situations. For videos, you can shoot full HD videos at 60 frames per second. And if you know Nikon, they're famous for their color science. And the Nikon D810 is no exception. In addition, it lets you shoot at the base ISO of 64, ensuring clarity and sharpness in your images. It also features a Multicam 3500FX autofocus sensor, including 51 autofocus points and 15 cross-type sensors, for a precise autofocus experience. Additionally, it comes with a powerful battery, letting you shoot about 1200 stills per charge. So if you're a Nikon lover and looking for an affordable yet high-end DSLR for landscape shooting, then the Nikon D810 is the right choice for you. Next, we have the Pentax K1, a feature-packed camera for landscape and run-and-gun shooting. It comes with a 36.2 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, offering you to shoot high-res landscape images. And as there is no anti-aliasing filter, you will enjoy sharper-looking images. Additionally, a multi-shot pixel shift resolution mode lets you capture four consecutive images of the same scene and combine them to provide you with a highly detailed image. You can also capture 14-bit raw images to achieve more vivid colors in post-production. And to ease handheld shooting, this camera features 5-axis image stabilization, which compensates for 5 stops of camera shake. It also lets you capture handheld images with a slower shutter speed, allowing more light to enter the sensor, resulting in more brighter looking pictures. As for videos, it can shoot full HD videos at 30 frames per second. Besides, the K1 has 33-point autofocus, of which 25 are cross-type, offering you fast and precise autofocus performance. And lastly, the robust build quality and weather-sealed construction made the K1 a perfect camera for landscape shooting even in harsh situations.
Lastly, we will discuss the Sony A7R, a super lightweight camera with high-end capabilities for landscape shooting. The camera weighs only 465 grams and takes minimal space in your travel bag. Though small and compact, the A7R doesn't compromise in quality. It features a 36.4 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor and doesn't include an optical low-pass filter. This means you can capture sharper looking images right out of the camera. Besides, it can also shoot Full HD videos at 60 frames per second. And there's also a 3-inch tiltable LCD with 921,600 dots resolution to help you shoot both low and high angle shots. Apart from that, it also includes an OLED viewfinder with 2.4 million dots resolution. However, it uses a contrast detect autofocus system, which is not as fast as the face detection autofocus. Still, for landscape under the bright sun, it will perform just fine. So that was all about the best cameras for landscape photography. All the cameras come with impressive still and video capturing features for landscape shooting, yet affordable. So which one do you choose? Let us know in the comment section.